Oh, wow. Those samples, oh my goodness, we've got so many more to show you as well. We are expecting a very busy hour. This is the launch of the brand new one day special. Of course, it's John next door. Do you know we're already getting busy? I've not even hardly got a sentence out of my mouth. We are going to see, of course, the one day special and we've got a big collection for you. But before we do that, we've got to say a very good evening to Mr. John Lockwood. Hello, good Hello. evening. I don't believe what you've just said to me. I know. You just said you're really nervous. I am. I, I don't I was saying to you earlier you know I I normally a week before the show I sort of pull the dies out again because yeah. obviously I tested them and did samples months ago and I start getting the prep for the demo and everything I pulled this out a month ago because I knew that I'd got some stuff I had to do last yeah. week so I start on it said right I'll give it I'll give it a week I even made a sample at seven o'clock this morning <laughs> because I haven't stopped Oh, and it's I one of those look things at this as that well. whenever I, I always feel that when I love a car, I love a project, love a set of dies, I always think that other people won't. But I spent so much more time on these than I ever should have done. Amazing. So it's made me Amazing. really nervous. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Well, we're going to get back to John as soon as we possibly can. Let's have a look at the details. So first of all, we're looking at the one day special. We've got the alphabet and the number dies here. Now, obviously, the packaging is housing all of those dies. But when you see what you're actually getting for your money, wow, you're getting a lot. Let me just show you the numbers first of all. 57 individual dies in the one day special. We can see, John, what I love about this, if I just bring in the alphabets as well, because of course you've got the plates or the backgrounds there of different sizes. So it gives you even more options, doesn't it? It does. I wanted to do the alphabet, but I didn't want it to just be an alphabet. And I wanted to use all that metal. So all of those letters, and you've got a full alphabet, a yep. full extra set of vowels, an extra punctuation and you've got some extra bits in there all fit within that background but that background can use its own background die you can see it best on this die on this board here so you can see the top one is all of them cut out as tiles using the background piece that comes with it love it so you've got those cut in white and then put on red yeah then the next panel shows you them actually cut into a piece of card because you can do that because they don't cut out individually if we go down, so then you've got the same with the numbers, I should explain. Of course. Then we go down. That is the background that all the letters cut into and come from in. So you can use that as, it's, as a die on its own. And I think it's a beautiful die on its own. Do you know, it really is. And I did say to you before the show as well, I'm loving the little circles that are in between each of the larger circles as well. Because not only do they add detail, you know, the interest there, you can break this apart in so many different ways, can't you? You can, and they work so well together. And, of course, it gives you all of the full solid circles as well. Yeah. Because that background gives you all those circles. So if you think all of those combinations are just from cutting the dies once. I know. It's each. incredible. It really is. And then you start to think how you can merge them together. All the names, you can now personalise yeah. anything. You can Definitely. put anything on. And with the numbers, sorry, I've actually even included... The ST for first, TH for second, yep. RD for third, ND for fourth. Yeah. Two extra zeros. Handy. So, Very two, handy. so two zeros, yeah. not one. An extra one, an extra two, and a star. And that star just puts the cherry on the cake, doesn't it? Well, details are there for you. Thirty-four ninety-eight, five pounds saving. Three six two one nine four. But don't just check your baskets out right yet. But do remember, of course, that five pounds saving there. We've got another bundle I want to talk to you about. Oh, this is just gorgeous again. Look at this. Now this is absolutely stunning, John. I love everything about this. We've got Firth Park, the die bundle here. We've got the tags, which is so unusual but so attractive, so pretty. We've also got the periwinkle and the mini twigs as well. And these beautiful flowers, the periwinkle, you can build these up in so many different ways. You can layer them in so many different ways. They're just beautiful. You can, so the, the periwinkle actually cuts from an A6 piece of card. So you will get four of that die cut 
on one A4 piece of card. In there are 10 individual petals, making you five full different sized flowers from each cut. Gorgeous. Then you've got the twigs, which are like mini rescaled versions of yeah. the Leslie's twigs I did at Christmas. So it's just tying beautifully. And I think we want smaller foliage. But if you can see there, that little, see that collection of flowers there? Yes. That's one A6 piece of card. That's amazing. That's all made with one pass of the die. I love the centre as well, how you can coil that around and bring yeah. out the stamens in the centre without having to worry about having separate stamens. It's all there as part of the set. Now you don't have to push them through or anything. They just glue in, but I'll show you again how that works. Amazing. And then you've got the Firth Park tags. These are beautiful. Um, which, again, I, I've echoed that circle look. I think it's so classic and elegant. So it's got those sort of double circles and a circle in the centre so you could put a dot in there, you could put a pearl in there, but they've also been sized so that they match with, it's another die we've got further down the counter. Yeah. But also if you've got card candy, if you remember card candy. I certainly can. Card candy fits those circles. Amazing. Amazing. I've just got to point out, John, this one here, because you can see everybody at home watching, that is not uh, an equal, well, not an equal sided square, but you can see the shape to those edges. But if we look at the board itself and we can see, you wouldn't notice straight away that that is a wonky square. No, the metal it's on is a complete square square. The cut line is wonky. And that means that you can lay that out perfectly to get wonky square apertures, but in a completely straight way. Yeah. It'll make sense when I demo it. I totally get it. And that little card that you did at 7 o'clock this morning, I noticed <laughs> had the wonky square on it, which looked amazing. Well, if you want to go for this particular bundle, there is a £6 saving, 34 97 651 790. Now, do remember that saving as well. So we've had £5 from the one-day special, £6 on this bundle. So straight away, we've got £11 there. If you cannot separate this, if you want absolutely everything, and why wouldn't you, we can give you the whole collection. We've given you those savings. We've given you another five pounds. But if you're a Freedom member, you are saving an extra eleven pounds and forty-nine pence. Oh my goodness! I'm just getting an update. You have found that collection over twenty percent of an enormous, and I mean enormous, stock has already gone. Two two nine nine four one is the item number. It's literally flying out the door now. As always, John. Your lovely angels have worked their magic, haven't they? We've got so many beautiful samples here. Do you know, I'm just going to grab from wherever because when it comes to the, the one day special and the other collection or the full collection, of course, we, we've seen all those elements there. There's the wonky square again. That just it, works so it well. It does, it's because if you want to put a square on that, we've all got squares, yeah. let's be honest. So I thought, what can I put in that's different? It's a wonky square. If you look at that sample, that's the background waste piece from the alphabet cut twice in two different colours. That is a lovely effect, isn't it? There's everything's on there and then with the periwinkles over yeah, the top. Yeah, love the flower. And again here, using the tags, cutting them down um, to give you that beautiful sort of pearl. And again, if you look, although that first part, the larger peak tag, doesn't look like a square, if you rotate it round 90 degrees, it gives you a perfect square. Again, using the waist from the um, numbers. I love it. I love it. Um, Do you know, these are so good as well for masculine cards. This one, this next one you're going to show is one of my favourites. Now, could that go either way? It can go anywhere you want. That is using bits of scrap wow. from my desk. Really? So that is literally, I made that and put that together using bits of scrap I got from making other cards. Oh, I as I said, it. I just can't stop. Fire and ice. <laughs> You've got to, but with yep. the background and using the Crafts 2 foil sheets, so you see more. But look how those flowers look different made in foil. Don't they just? And look, if you want a new baby as well, you've got baby boy there. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, teaming, you know, you're making the flowers with vellum, with different materials as well. I've just noticed this one as well. I know it's a bit early, but I've got to show you. Look at that. Of course, you're going to be able to build up any word that you want. I mean, and especially with something like this, we've got Merry Christmas. Maybe you're not a merry person, you want happy. Yeah. Happy Christmas, or you've you got want the choices. Season's greeting. Or you yeah. want to say Happy Eid. Yes. You want to yes, celebrate of Ramadan. If you want to yep. celebrate Hanukkah. Um, <gasps> what you've got the option now of is because you've got the alphabet, you can make any word in the English language Definitely. that you want to. We've even yep. included punctuation in there. And 
I've actually included, as I said, you've got an extra A, E, I, O and U, yep. which are the English vowels, because I didn't know until I did some research that in America Y is classed as a vowel. You can play that game, can't you? Yeah. You could play that game with these. Make some games up. Yeah, you could play the big game, which I'm, I've got a, bo a board with to do letters. that. With the letters, yeah. But I've also included an extra S because I checked and S is the next most popular letter used after the vowels. Is it? I didn't and know And certainly that. when it comes to greeting cards. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to give a bit of an update, John. I can't believe where this is going. Well, I can, actually. We have lost over a quarter of the entire stock already. This is literally flying out the door. We have got long queues on the phone lines. You will have to be patient. If you go to the website, that is the quickest route. It is a why not deal as well, because, of course, the freedom price, if you look at this, 11 49 is your saving, your extra saving on your bundle there, on the full collection. Now, you can see on the screen that all the details, of course, for that Why Not deal. You know, if you are already a Freedom member, your price has not gone up. We can see there, $7.97, a new member. If you're paying $7.97, you're going to give Freedom a go. Just give it a go for a month. You can opt out again. You are saving not only the £5 from the one-day special, not only the £6 from the other collection that we've got on offer. You put that together. We're carrying those savings over. Then we've got that extra saving on top. It is a why not deal. So make sure you join the club if you've not already done so and you're going for this deal with that full collection. Right, we are so busy. John, I cannot wait to see what you've got to show I can see some things that really bring smiles to my face and I know we're going to talk through everything now. Yeah, I, I, I want to show you one of the things with alphabets and one of the things that I've always struggled with is how do you get them straight? How do you get them even? How is it easy? It's great that we make these beautiful, pretty things. Yeah. But then I try and think about how that, you know, I'm a lazy crafter. I say this all the time and I want things easy. So I've tried to design this easy and come up with easy ways to do it. OK. So one of the first sort of ones I want to show you is this was the first way that I did it. And what okay. I've actually done is people have seen me do this before. So what I actually did was I've put lines of power tape down a piece of scrap card. OK, yeah. I've put the background die on and I've stuck every single letter in. Right. Yeah. Got you. And what I do is I cut that as a whole sheet. Yeah. And that gives me the entire alphabet plus the extra vowels plus the punctuation. Of course. Yeah. Then I take off that die. Right. And I cut that, which gives me the circles for behind. Of course, yeah. yeah. But, of course, that's great. And what I did with that was I built this. I love this idea. This, if you spend a day doing this and cut out so many letters, you will have something to work it with all the time. It actually took me two episodes of the TV show I was watching to do this. So that's two hours to do all of this. Do you know, that's that's, that's time well watching. spent. Yeah. It really so is. So in here, and I, I, I mean, these boxes you can get from everywhere. They, they're really relatively cheap. So A, B, C, going all along. And then any spares while I'm going along, I've thrown in there, yeah? Yeah. So that if I want to do... So how do we spell Catherine? K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. K -A, A. There's S -T. lots of ways of spelling it, but that's my way of spelling that, it. Well, this is the thing. Everybody's name spelt differently. So K-A-T-H... Is it R Y N? Y N. Unless you're Janice and then you spell it K-A-T-H-Y-R-N. Y. I've given you a <laughs> red thing. Y. N. So, if you're doing a craft fair or you personalise cards, there's Catherine done straight away. Love it. Yeah. OK, I've given her a red K, but I can give her a black K. We can do any colour we want. Yeah. yeah. So that was the first way I did it. So I'm just going to take this Catherine out because I don't want to mix it up. So okay. I will put that onto a card in a little while. Aww. But So I did that with my letters and I did the same with my numbers. So there's my numbers and I keep in here all of my spares. So I've got my ST, my RD, my second. So if I wanted to say, let's say, Catherine, it's your 30 second. Yes. We'll go 30. I'll go with that. 32. Actually, let's let's do it change in colours. 32 and it's your 30 second. So I want a white on black ND. So I can do 30 second for Catherine. Love yeah? it. So great. Fair enough. But then we can do that first. But there's going to come a point where you don't want 
to be cutting all the letters all the time. Yeah. And that's why I designed the set with the numbers separately and the numbers in a slightly different format. Perfect. So once I'd done that a couple of times, what I did was I came up with this idea. So let's say we've got 30 second Catherine. Yeah. But what if we want birthday? Yes. Yeah? So what I do is we'll take a piece of white card and I put it down on a magnetic board. Right, OK. okay? So this is just a piece of double of magnetic self-adhesive onto a piece of sort of foam core, yeah? I take the outline for the numbers, and the numbers comes with two, yeah? So okay. they're two yeah, separate ones. Put it in the middle. Now, I've cut this to four inches, yeah? yeah. Can you see there how that's yes, held? Yes, it is. It's holding really well. It just keeps them in the right place, so you don't have to have right a steady it. hand, because, look... I haven't got a steady hand. <laughs> I've never had a steady hand. So I just tape that down for security onto the card. Okay. I'm cutting it in the middle of that, and I'll show you why in a minute, because I don't want to waste that. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my alphabet, and I'm very lucky, because it actually came through wrong at first. Did it? It did. So this is its second iteration. So I was lucky. So I've got two, because one of them was wrong. Ah. Oh. So I think I'd missed a letter. Oh, this is me. Really? Yeah, this is me. Come on. <laughs> I'd missed a letter. I Did think... you not count the letters to make sure you got them all? No, I'd, I'd missed a letter. <laughs> I don't do counting either. Which but letter did you miss? I John? can't remember, to be honest. <laughs> I think I blanked it out entirely oh. in my head. So that's the only reason I've got a second set, is if you notice that's missing some bits, because <laughs> this one is because I didn't have that. We can guarantee you will not have no, any missing you've got letters. The, the agreed correct When you one. get yours. And I can guarantee you this is so busy. Yeah. In fact, a third of the stock has gone. Those phone lines are very, very busy. Um, if you can go to the website, please do. Don't want to take away from John, but I'm just seriously wanting to let you know how busy we are. So I've got that in place now. So okay. I want birthday, don't I? Yeah. So what I do is B, I... Are, and I would always suggest you put them back in order. Yeah, it yeah. saves you searching, doesn't it? It's going so to save you time. So it looks at the minute like I'm just dropping them in randomly. T, H, I'm using birthday mainly yeah. because I know how to spell it. <laughs> T, A, Y. Okay, so there's birthday, and I've got a spare one, so I'll pop the star oh. in from the numbers. Yep, so Love all it. I do now is just move those around. They don't have to be the right way up. Look, I'll do the H wrong, yeah? OK, yeah. Doesn't have to be Actually, for this. Actually, I like that. That's really quick. But cause these will cut out separately because I'm using the background, yeah? Right, So okay, as long yeah. as they're even, that's mm -hmm. done, yeah? yeah? Then I take them down, OK? Really simple. Take it off the magnet and that's fixed. Yes. Yeah? And it's all perfectly spaced. And it's all perfectly secure. So all I do onto my plates, running it through my Kaleido, so that it fits through any A5 machine. How quick machine. is that? But of course, then what I've got is B, I, R, T, H, D. My A's not popped out, has it? Where's my, oh, there's my A. A, is my Y not out? Where is my Y? My Y's not popped out. So there's yeah, my Y yeah. and there's my star. Yeah, yeah got okay. it. Okay. So all I do then is pull these off. And I'd put them back. Or if I wanted to, if I got them straight, I could actually tape those down onto yes, a card and cut them in. in. So yeah. I've got a birthday square yeah, with a star yeah, at the end. Perfectly spaced or already. completely even. Yeah. Okay. I take that off. I then choose a contrasting colour. Yeah. So I'm going to go with green because that's what I've got prepped here. I put that in the middle as well of the piece of four inch. You don't have to do that. And so then I just run that through and that gives me then this exact same size circles for the reverse. Of course. So we just run that through. And then I've got my circles. Really oh, simple. Perfect. I'm going to put that to one side. Now, you can use a spray glue um, if you want to, but if you don't, I would suggest using the glue glaze. Oh, we've got that on the show, haven't we? We have, with the reverse tweezers, which are so useful when you're Ooh. making your flowers. We'll bring the details. But, we'll have a look at these in a little while as well. Obviously, John's going to be using them anyway now. If you can see here, 
how much easier that is and it's flat and quick grab yeah so that then just goes on there so there's my b for birthday Lovely. go for the eye go back into the lip gloss as i call it yeah because that's what we've used is a lip gloss container yeah you so. do get two of those don't you as well with the tweezers all for just 9.99 details on the screen 758212 but again, so much easier than using a squeeze, even the fine tip bottles, yeah. because the difference is this glue is a sort of solvent based glue and it's flat. Okay. You know, PVA is always raised slightly yeah. and has water in it. This doesn't. So you don't get anything, look, squelching through. Perfect. Even if I completely coat it, B I R, let's go for a T. Okay. I'm just going to update everybody. We've got about 10 minute waiting time on the phones. If you can use the website, Please do. We will get to you, but you, you do need to be a little bit patient. We are so busy. So all I'm doing, you see that I'm putting lots and lots of glue on. Yeah? Yeah. So literally, like I, I almost soaking it. So that's what I would do if I was using... Oh, you can see that. You know, yeah, if I'm yeah. using something else. Watch at this when I put it onto there. No squeeze through. Oh, wow. Because there's no solidity. Yeah. No, the glue has got no vis it's completely viscous if that makes sense yeah, there's no water yeah. yeah it's an amazing glue so there's b i r t i can carry on and do h d a y but if it's something you want to update and i'll show you another way to okay. do it yeah we'll do that we'll have a little bit of a, a look at some other things as well now 40 percent of the complete collection has now gone now right behind me as well we have the most beautiful apron i'm just going to stand to one side we've got all sorts of soft craft uh, samples here as well look at the, this is genius it really really is this is one of um, John's angels that's made this the apron there there is a bag there as well I'm going to pick up one or two other things as you're looking at that very clever because of course the stencil background has been used almost as a um, as a crossword there hasn't it as a crossword now I've got more things as well I might have to just bob down because there's some, a couple of things I want to pick up I just think this is such a good idea. This also makes me think of something else as well, John, because here is the waste. Well, it's not waste, is it? Because you use everything. But what we class as the waste, using the dye there through a, you know, a, a, some sort of fabric there. You can see how beautifully that has cut out. You can paper piece together. You can put your wording in there as well. She's actually used faux leather for that. Is it faux leather? It's faux leather she's used. Look at this. This is genius. It really, really is. But all those discs that have popped out there, how clever is this? This has actually been knitted or crocheted. I'm not sure which one. Knitted or crocheted. So you can attach those discs into there. Well, John did show me this before the show and I said, how wonderful would that be if you did this idea and you stitch those as scales to like a mermaid tail Ooh. or something like, you know, you can get those little blankets or cuddly things that you can put your legs in, make it look like a mermaid's tail. That would be absolutely brilliant. I mean, there's so much more here when it comes to soft craft. I mean, all sorts of different fabrics. Of course, you can stencil through. You don't have to use the dye itself. Cut out with the dye, obviously, and then use it as a stencil. I mean, again, here, faux leather, a little journal there. In fact, that says guest book on it. You know, it just goes on and on and on look at this you can choose whatever words you want i love this kind of crossword effect john i think it's just so so clever the way she's done it and that's using it as a stencil just going through the eyes ink sprays yeah i mean there's a sample somewhere that june's made a card front um for a child fourth birthday and it's got sums on it and it's got a slot oh. and separate coins so you can put the answers in so the, the oh, child to has something that. to do with it. There are so many samples here. We'll have to, the, I'll um, see if I can thing. find that. I want to show this clock as well while we're here because, of course, with having the numbers, you can create your own clocks. John, right at the front as well, I don't know if um, Chris can show us just as we're talking about it now, the cabochons. Yes. We've got the letters inside the cabochons as we well. We have because the size of each one is 22 millimetres, which means that the letters have been sized so that you can... Sort of trim it down or use a 20 centimetre, 20 millimetre die, yeah. which is one of the sizes in the press cut circles. And that will fit perfectly on cabochons and standard gems. So there's actually there the, the left and right cufflinks. Amazing. So I the letters just think will they're brilliant. fit. And the panel behind, if you can see that, um, Art Angel Ange has actually etched copper wow. through the die, through the actual waste of the die. Love that's actually it. a copper sheet she's etched. 
but again it fits perfectly with standard jewellery findings at 20 millimetres. Perfect. And if you haven't got the cabochons as well, but you've got some resin or something, you could put the letters into your resin if you've got Ooh. little moulds. Do all of those things. It's just incredible what you're going to be achieving with these. Details there, of course, for the big collection now. Half of the stock almost has gone already this is the launch we're not even halfway through 229 941 is the item number that you need remember you're getting the savings carried over and the extra savings on top now while we're just doing a bit of a recap i am going to show you one or two other items that we haven't seen yet you have found them i believe this is something else that caught my eye this next item as well they have been here before twice before we've seen a sellout on this bundle i am not surprised i'm just adore the first sample i've just picked up as well let's have a look at this look at the price 13 pounds and 98 pence you're going to get both sets here the reason i love these so much it says small flowers and small leaves john i absolutely adore when you've got the filler flowers you know if you've got something a little bit larger you want to fill those gaps or bring out the white or another color in there it is we, we struggle so, so much useful. just to get little bits and we can't always use pearls no we sometimes need something small to go on there now it actually came from jane smith who suggested this because she said one of the handiest things she had was a little collection of small flower punches. Yeah. And she put them on all cards. She said, could you not do a die that sort of did two or three of the, the flowers that you do in the small flower punches? So I looked at it and created this die. And it actually, I think it makes you 32 flowers in one pass. And that is from A7 card. So you would, you will get it, you will get this die onto an A4 sheet. One, two, three, four. You'll get it on eight times. So you'll get like a couple of hundred flowers from one sheet. Wow. This is Same what you get the in these are the dyes. And I've even put in little dots which can work, dots on the leaf plate. You see the circles? They're actually yeah. centres that will work as centres for the f small flowers. Oh, wow. Oh, so do you know, you do think of everything, don't well. you? Oh, let me show you this one as well. Using, of course, elements from the One Day Special or, of course, the big collection in conjunction with the flowers. I mean, you can see, look, part 60, just a little flower there again. Uh, we've got more here. The whole frame has been created. Do you know, every time I look down, I see something else. I think, oh, I've got to show this, got to show this. This, honestly, can the you see angels there as well, Web, are miracle on, workers, on aren't they? On that sample there that you just had. The one I've just had. The one you just had, sorry. That's actually using the Firth Park twice. But what Jackie's done is she's threaded ribbon through it. Doesn't that work well? So it fits and it will. Yep. You can th you can thread the sort of I think it's the three mil or the five mil ribbon through. Yeah, that is so so effective, isn't it? I adore these little dies. I really, really do. 20% of the stock has gone. How pretty is this? Do you know what it reminds me of, John? It's almost as though they've been embroidered on. That's what it reminds oh, it me is, of, embroidery. It? It's so delicate. Yeah. It does look like someone spent hours stitching them in silks. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to turn that to the side so you can see the depth of that a little bit as well. I mean, obviously, you could really sort of pronounce these with your tools if you wanted to. Even though they're smaller, you can keep them flat depending on how you want to work with them. Just adore everything about that. Oh, amazing. 379 is the item number 1398 for both of those. And they are literally flying out the door again. I am not surprised. Right, moving down again. Let's have a look at the next item. We've got the adhesive sheets here. Now, obviously, these are going to be so useful, John. With your alphabets, you know, you're going to be able to put your different effects on there, aren't you? Um, are these... Do oh, they are double-sided. I was yep. just going to ask, are they single or double? They're double-sided adhesive sheets. You're getting 15 sheets for only 9 194 Is there anything you want to say about these, the, John? The, there is a difference between normal double-sided adhesive sheets, and this is why we did them and I did them. Okay. We actually get them from Sandy Art in um, the Netherlands, I if you remember know, Sandy. Sandy. I do remember. Yes, so these are that strong that they will actually take sand on them. Yeah. The difference is one side is matte and has a grid line, which makes it easier for cutting. Okay. The other side is a gloss side. Yeah. They are easy peel. So if you just pick one up, Catherine. Okay. Can you remember trying to dig in the end? Yeah. With a, a oh, pokey they are tool. Thick, aren't they? Yeah. Try and just flick the end off. Try and take the the, the cover off. Try and take the cover. Oh, yeah. There you go. <gasps> Look. And I have no nails, I no. honestly. <laughs> my nails are, can't grow because they wear down so quickly. Look at that. That is so, so sticky yeah. as well. So thick it's and sticky. It's really, really ultra sticky. You can actually put just a little tip of your finger on and hold the whole sheet up. Yeah. It's just so easy to do. Plus, Love the fact you've got the grid work on there as grid well. Grid makes it easier. And the thing is as well, one of the things in there is 
every single sheet is a full sheet of adhesive. Yes. There's no strips yep. down. Because I've bought ones in the past and they've got joins in the middle. Yeah. These haven't, these are all the way down. But it was just the fact we could do 15 of them at that price as well. Amazing. That is an amazing price. Pop those into your basket as well. You will not regret it. 194360. Something else. We did kind of mention it. You found it because we're very, very busy on this as well. A quarter of the stock has already gone. Now, what you get in here, the Crafts 2 Mixed Buttons and Circle Die Pack. Now... You've got the circle die there. You've got the buttons included as well. There's actually how many buttons we've got here? 150 buttons. The die is genius, John, because, again, with one pass, I can see there how many of those lovely... So we've said about the candy, didn't we? But, look, you can paper piece in there. Uh, these are great fun, aren't they? You can do all sorts of It's just them. a beautiful die. It was literally one that was done to make your own card candy. And as that's not produced anymore, if you do want to make your own, you can using this die. But wow. it's also sized, it works exactly on the corners. And actually there you can see on the Firth Park. So it yes, covers over yeah. exactly. There's that so, wonky square again. Yeah, so you can use the baby boy. Or you can, and again, the buttons just work so well with this collection. So when Jane said to me, what that. have you been using in your samples? I said, I've been using loads of buttons because they just look so good. You know I love buttons, yeah. John, as well. Look at that. That's the sort of card you could send me and I'd be absolutely delighted. That, yeah, you wouldn't want flowers. Would you be happy uh, with but just buttons, buttons on Buttons, I'm it? happy with buttons, flowers, I don't care. But that I absolutely love. And again, they're all held in place using the double-sided adhesive sheet. Amazing. So those buttons aren't glued in. There's no, there's no wet glue, there's no PVA or anything. They are literally just on the double-sided sheet. That's Love how it. strong they are. No wonder we're so busy on these as well. Oh, my goodness. 9 99 you've got a £10 saving. This is half price. 205-620 is the item number. And again, something else that we've mentioned, we've seen a little bit of this, is the next bundle. Busy on this, 30% of the stock has gone. This is where you're going to get the glue glaze. You're getting two of those, as you can see. I know we've seen the applicator with John, but just to explain, and John has, has admitted, you know, What's been used here is the container for lip gloss and the applicator for lip gloss. That's because it works. That works so, so well. It doesn't take up a lot of room as well. You've got a nice screw top on there. That's not going to leak. But also you've got those tweezers as well. And these are your precision tip tweezers. Did you say reverse tweezers? These are reverse tweezers. So when it comes to actually making your flowers and rolling up your centres, I, 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 sorry, a reverse tweezer is essential. Yeah. Because trying to do it with a normal tweezer nearly killed me. We will because see you've much got to hold more them. of these. But when I come to do it, I will show you. Wonderful. 9 99 again. What a great buy. 758212 is the item number. Right, we're just going to show you a few more finished samples. That'll give you a chance to check those baskets out if you're on the website. If you're on the phone lines, you're still probably waiting. But we will be back. Let's show you a video. Just fabulous, aren't they? You can be creating something like that very, very soon. John, we're going to hand it back to you. Right, OK. So there I've got finished my birthday, Catherine, in the individual tiles. But I thought, well, that's all well and good. I've got okay, the tiles yeah. done. I could put those onto a card. But what if I want to cut them into a card? What if oh. I want to cut them into something? I don't want tiles. OK. So what we do on that case, I'm going to use, and I'm going to bring again, I'm just going to push those to one side, and I'm going to bring in this time the long tag from the Firth Park tags. OK, yep. And I love as you know, I name all my collections after um, villages and areas and things. Yes. So this is actually named after an area from not far from where I live called Firth Park, oh. which is somewhere I spent a lot of my youth. Oh. Um, it's sort of, it was a little village. I'm sure it's not anymore. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, there's a lot, of, um, a lot of the collection this year is named after places in Sheffield. I should recognise some of them. You, you will probably recognise mm. some of them as we go along. I think one of them is named after one of our director's place of birth as well. Really? It is, yes, Mr. Webster. So. Oh. But what I didn't I've know done he here, was born so in Sheffield. Again, yes. I didn't know. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, my house was built in the grounds of his school. Really? Yep. <laughs> 
corner of his school playing field. So what we've got is, I've got the magnetic board again. This makes it so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you can see there again, it just holds it. It, it means does. you don't yeah. have to have good hands. So I'm going to take that down. And again, we're going to go with birthday. And thankfully, I didn't take them off the tape. So I've got all three of them ready. Okay. Do you know why you've got them taped up like that, John? As you did show with the first demonstration, I would just cut loads out with different colour cards. You can straight do, away. but there's a great way to do tip to do with them on this one. Okay. So uh, you could do that, cut them out low. I would do lots while you're doing yeah. it. Birthday's one you're going to need all the time, which is one of the reasons why I made the numbers in two of these. So the numbers actually come, if you see, in two. So you can have one saying birthday and one with the classic numbers in yeah, and cut them together. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier. But what I'm going to do now is I want birthday to run along this tag. Right. So I start with B, but if you notice there, the space is exact. OK, yeah, I can see. So because I designed this tag so that that gap was exactly the size oh, John, of the letters. Clever. You are clever. So yeah. there's, you can't get it wrong, So then. you can't look, because they just fit into place. Watch. They so putting up the letters together going across as well you've got that equal spacing equal spacing all the way across and it's already done with you with the tags which is why we put this tag collection in with it in the sort That's, of complete that collection. really is genius so d and we've got a and y i'm going to miss the star on this one okay so all you've got to worry about here then is the the start and the end to make sure you've centralized yeah. it or oh, if you want it offset it doesn't matter doesn't again. matter at all so all i do then is go on and write OK, so now let's grab my pokey tool. I'm just going to make sure that's straight and I think that's nice and even. Let's move these round. Let's get them straight. But can you see how easy relatively this is to do because yeah. of the magnet? Can you imagine doing this if they, were, they weren't magnetic? Yeah, down? they would be sliding around. It would. And, and I wouldn't want to pretend it wouldn't be. So I've got a piece of waste in there, which I don't want. So. Um, but I wanted to make it as easy and show you that, it, you know, it could be difficult, but I've made it as easy as I can. So there we go. R, I, B. All evenly spaced, all in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that I, I can see. Just turn it round a little bit more. Yeah, just give it a little Am bit I of a tweak. Am I happy with it? You'd probably take a little bit more time at home. But once Not that's looking even, bad to me. long piece of tape. Yeah tape that down yeah yeah and then we'll just fit it and again i made sure even though this is a this is a full width of an a4 piece of card so this is eight and a quarter inch this is just over seven inches it will still fit inside your a5 machine okay so it'll still fit in your kaleido or other sort of die cutting yeah. a5 machines you've got and we just run that one through get it in the right way john and what this does by using the tag, if we do them loose, you can get an imp impression, can't you, of the circle? Yes. Which yeah, is quite nice because yeah. you can pick it out. If you do it with the tag, you don't get an impression of the circle. Oh, is that because of the metal? Because of the, of the metal. The metal. Yes, if you look of course, there, I've never even thought about that. I'm going to show you on that one. Can you see there? Yeah. You've got no, no, no impression because I've used linen card. So you'd see it instantly. How clever. So I that's never in a even line. Thought of that. It just made it easier. And again, the smaller tag is the same. So you can do this one is fab for doing like 2 1 ST for 21st. Yes, yeah. I've got a demo prep for that's that tomorrow. That's a great tag for a, under a rosette, isn't it? As yeah, well. just coming down. Yeah. It, it's like, um, I should make one for Roger. Yeah, because you should do. And because we've got all of the letters, all of the numbers again, so if you wanted to make a rosette for the front of a card, for, you know, a, a milestone birthday, or, you know, it, Father's Day is coming up as there well. It's going to be great for that. You can actually use this tag and you can fold it to make a rosette. Yeah. So you, yeah. there's actually a sample so, I think someone's so done. Got, oh, you can make can a rosette it. out of this car, out of this tag, by just folding it at every circle, and it will make you an actual rosette as well. I don't know that I'm going well. to have a look for that, but actually. I wanted to show you two more things, because now what you do is, of course, I've now got birthday taped in a straight line. So I can take a piece of card, and I can just cut birthday down it so i'm just going to run that through if yeah. you to, you've got that card okay that. is this the card you were referring to john yeah 
Look what I've just found. This is really, really clever. Look at this. So you could put the tail on there, the tag on there. You could make those bigger as well, couldn't you? Because you of could. the width of the card if you wanted to. Um, you know, use the edge. Oh, there's so many ways I can see. Oh, yes, little cocktail umbrellas. It's, but that's <laughs> so, so clever, isn't it? That's the Shan who's done oh. that one. Oh, can I show this? It's nothing to do with rose heads. <laughs> you but found I'm a just... baby card, haven't I have. you? I know you. Look! How adorable is that? And that's just using two of the tags. Leslie made that. Cut in half to give the border a round of the circles. Oh, and I did mention early on as well, if you're wanting to cut out with your vellums for your flowers and things, you know, I mean, I, I don't think these are the... I th no, I think they're a different flower, but using... You know, they're, they're how delicate, but you've got the loops there going around uh, the framework with the die there. Of course, the alphabet's been used there just to say hi. You know, how wonderful is that? Love it, love it. Oh, my goodness. The full collection, over half of the stock has gone. Be a freedom member, that's all I'm going to say. Become one today, if you're not already, because you can save another 11 49 on top of the savings that are carried over from the individual bundles as well. Uh, now, we are getting a... We're, well, I'm not so, we're not getting a question, and we've got a question in. Just wanting to know, John, because you've got yours there, the Clydo machine, do we know when that's coming back in stock? Um, I do, yes. Do you? Are you allowed to say? Mm, um, I believe... We won't push you if you're not allowed to say. I believe the, it will be on her chanda in the second oh, the week store. of May. Oh, the craft store, sorry, I forget. <laughs> and I even made a card. <laughs> The, the, the second I card know, I, I saw made that. I shared that on my was Facebook. That <laughs> was the craft store. Um, that works really well. Just to remind myself. To be honest, <laughs> the first card I made, I couldn't show you on air because I made it for Sam with one of his favourite sayings. Oh. And I don't use a lot of four-letter words. So. <laughs> <laughs> but so we've got our tag. Yeah, I was just pricking the bits out. So there's our tag, yep. birthday. But there, you've got... The word. Love it. Again, straight. Yeah. And can you see that you've got a slight impression of the circles? Yes. So you've got a slight impression because it didn't have the tag on it. <gasps> I've just had an idea, John. But if you look at the photo on the pack, the card on the pack shot, you'll see one I made there of all of the blue ones at the top. That was just doing exactly that technique I've just done on three different colours of blue card, blue oh, and white. Oh, I love it. Do you know very, what? Very I'm quick. just thinking, so we had a show last night and um, there was a spool involved. It was quite a large one, but if you wanted to make kind of a spool and put messages, elongate. Oh, you could. So, you, so when you pull it out, you've got a full saying or a message there. Oh, you could. I could use some of my old sayings, like many a mickle makes a muckle. And you could. Nair you could just use a, 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 a bobbin or a spool from thread, you see, yeah. couldn't you? And just wrap, just it, wrap round it round and make it as long as you wanted. That's a brilliant idea. So one of the last things I wanted to show you is the waist. Okay. Yeah. So what I've actually done is I'd cut this. So this is the white. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the white that from cutting the letters for birthday. That is so neat, isn't yeah. it? Look at that. Yeah. And again, it's. I wanted. It was pointless. We couldn't put anything else in that. Okay. And I, instead of just doing the circles, you're paying for that metal. Yeah. So I wanted to make it a usable die. So what I then did. So I'm going to put that onto a piece of. So I've got white. Yeah. I also cut it in this magenta colour. That's a pretty colour. Yeah. And that was to do this birthday here. Oh, that looks lovely with the white. Yeah. Really, any colour seems to work. Yeah. If you've got colours of card that you're not keen on, they work perfectly as a backing of letters. Yeah. Because they, you don't see a lot of them. So I'm just going to put that onto white. Yeah. So that's my waist background. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've got one in white. Yeah. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm oh, going to put it there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Who would have thought? And then I've just cut a circle frame. Oh, John, look there at... There you go. Wow! And then what I can do is go B and find them. I, R, T, H, D, A, Y. Amazing. But that is so. But that is formed from the waist. And I have to thank Helen Jones. She's the one who that discovered is so clever. twisting it that way, and that's just using the numbers. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh, so many ideas, so many ideas. I can tell you, when it comes to the big collection, almost sixty percent of the stock has now gone. We are so so busy. Do not miss out. Grab yours tonight. 
check out your baskets and then of course you can sit back and relax and watch the rest of the shows with John because they're going to carry on throughout tomorrow as well. Well, we've got the stock of course and there are other things. Let's have a quick reminder because of course when it comes to the big collection you've got the savings carried over from of course the individual. So the one day special had £5 saving on it. The bundle there with the tags in had a £6 savings so that's £11 there. If you're a Freedom member, you're getting another £11.49 saving on top of that. And we can, well, look there, we can split it for you as well. Let's just swing that around. Two payments of £29.23. Just going to show you the boards again. Let me just show you the dies first of all, because... Do you know, we see the packaging on the counter and sometimes you look at the package and you think, how do you get all those dies in there? Of course, you can see how you've got those individual plates here for the numbers. You've got the numbers as well. You've got the TH, you've got the ND, the R, D, uh, and the ST. <laughs> it's hard to read it back to front, isn't it? First, second, third. And I got to that and I couldn't... There's nothing else. And I thought, fourth, fifth, sixth. Oh, TH. I nearly put two TH's in. Did you? Because there's so and many And you've got the them. extra O's and the extra one and two there as well. Now, when it comes to the alpha, of course, you've got the larger play. I just want to play checkers now when I keep looking at this. You could make educational, educational games and all sorts. Uh, all your letters of the alpha to, uh, alphabet again there as well. Um, do you know, and there's no missing letters for yours as well. You will definitely get the full alphabet. There's your boards. Let me just show you again the cutout that you're going to achieve because this really does make it hit home, doesn't it? So obviously you've got your discs that you can cut out, you can cut into the cardstock as well, you can layer these in so many different ways, just using these as stencils again as well in your backgrounds on your journal pages, if you want part alphabets in the background you can do that, paper piecing, you know, you, it's endless, it really is, I don't need to keep giving you those ideas because we've heard so many from John and you've seen them yourself, that's for sure. There's the board again, 229 941 if you're going for the big collection. Now, don't forget with that big collection, the Firth Park, that's where we're going to see, of course, the tags, we're going to see uh, the flowers, we're going to see the twigs in there as well. Let's have a proper look at that. We've talked about the big collection, they are part of it. This is where the £6 saving is carried over from. Those flowers are so, so pretty, they really are. I'm just going to pick up another one of the samples here again, just to show you just one way of working with these. The tags, I think, are beautiful. We've seen how you can use one of the tags as a spacer as well. You know, whether you want to use the edges of these, whether you want to cut them apart, whether you want to put... You could really widen that and put a piece of ribbon through the middle you as could, well, couldn't you? Could you could actually, if you use... If you've got my ribbon threader dies, my ribbon threader dies will actually yeah. cut in the middle of it to give you a ribbon threader down it. Yeah. And that's one of the first dies I released about... Yeah. Three years ago. Do you know, just picking that sample up as well, we've got Gran, we, we say Nana, we say Nan, we say Grandma. So you've got all of the ways that you can spell all of those cards as well. You know, Stepmom as well, yeah. you know, when it comes to things like that, nicknames, pet names, all those different things, you've got them. Oh, wow, we are busy as well. <laughs> 229941, remember. Now, let's just tell you about one or two other things. We're just going to show you the buttons again. This is very, very busy. Two-thirds of the stock has gone. Don't forget, you are getting the die there that will cut in one pass all of those individual candy pieces. You're getting the mixture of buttons there as well. They're physical buttons. 9.99, £10 saving. It's half price, 205620. Then we have... Oh, no wonder we're busy in these. I love these. You've got your small flowers and your small leaves only 13.98 these are sold out so many times before we've brought them back they're flying again 379 427 is the item number then of course we've got the tweezers with the glaze for you You're getting two of the glazes and the reverse tweezers hopefully we're going to see these in action because it's very important 9.99 is the price here 758212 is the item number lots to keep you occupied there but do we want more inspiration of course we do let's head back to john Okay, right, so I thought I'd put a flower together okay. and show Wonderful. you the flower because this is quite important. Now, as I said, um, everything you need, so everything you see here is on the plate. And this is from an A6 piece of card. Yeah. So there's five different sizes of flower, two repeats of each okay. and two centres yeah. because the centres aren't necessary for the three smaller flowers. Okay. Um, but again, you can repeat cut if you want to. So obviously this is a very detailed plate. If you look down there, there's more probably cut lines than I've ever done before. Really? Yeah, I mean, what used to happen was, um, I've just 
been dealing with Christmas, as everyone knows. Yeah. Yeah. So I've just been finalising, getting the packaging finished and everything. Oh, wow. So over the last sort of eight weeks, I've been finalising and agreeing Christmas. And what used to happen when I sent dies off was that they used to send me back their instructions saying, you must have three millimetres between lines and all I of this. I remember you saying yeah. this. They've stopped doing it now. Yeah. Because I've actually pushed the technology that far, they just do it. Wow. So when my Christmas designs came back, just like this, they hadn't changed a thing because I'd forced oh, them brilliant. in the past to do it. And yeah. so now they knew they could. Yeah. So all it means for us as crafters is that I've, I'm taking the technology further, wow. to be honest. So we have to be a little bit more careful. So I know here I've got thousand, uh, you know, I've actually got, I think there's something like 200 cut lines there. Yeah. That's incredible, isn't so it? So what I want to do is and I recommend doing this, is I'm going to shim this die. Right. I know that this has got a lot in there. Yep. I've asked a lot of it. Yeah. So rather than be disappointed, I'm using one of the Crafts 2 metal shims. OK. Yeah, and the, you, they're A5 and A4. I mean, I don't think we've got them on the show, but we've had them before. Yeah. But so again, many use a shim them, just because it increases the pressure. Yeah. Dies cut because of pressure. Of course. Not because of being sharp. Yeah. So if a die's not cutting, it's because we need to increase the pressure okay. or make the card thicker. Yeah. The thinner the card, the worse the cut. Definitely. Yeah. Anything below 220 is harder to cut than anything up to 300. But can you see now I've got all of those cut Look out. Look how cleanly they have cut. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. So the stamens, look at that. Those tiny little circles, each one of those stamens there, perfectly cut. Yeah. Three years ago, I wouldn't have drawn that because they wouldn't have let me. <laughs> But I've been oh, so cheeky, so I've got we're away so with it. We're so glad you pushed it, John. <laughs> I think it's just de doggy determinism and lays. If I can yeah. get them to do the work for me, you know, if I can get finer detail, my cards are going to have a more elegant, finer finish. Of course, and to that, to me, that is important because they look more professional when you've got yeah. the finer finish. You know, there's more you can achieve with them. It's great when you're adding your inks and your colour as well because it doesn't look messy, it, it looks delicate. No, and it, it looks clean and crisp. And the yeah. thing is as well, what you find is that... Um, you know, the, the one area, the two areas that sort of commercial companies could beat us on were how fine they could cut because of laser cutting and foiling. Yeah. You know, we're getting the dies now to the point where they're as delicate as a laser cut. And with the Kaleido, we, cu we cured the foiling problem. Oh, so to me, there's yes. nothing now that a commercial company can do that we can't do better. Do you know, that's brilliant. I think we can do that at home. You know, the way that products have come along, I mean, I... I don't want to say how many years it is <laughs> since I first opened my shop now, but we genuinely had just the minimal amount of product. And we used to run workshops then, and we thought it was great because, you know, we were making something, we, you know, everybody had fun. But now you look back at those days and you think, how did we manage? How did we manage yeah, without these dyes, these machines, these scissors these and inks. punches yeah. and some angel hair. Yeah. That's yeah. my memory, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just picking these up. But if you notice, they've got two cut lines in the middle. Yeah, I did, yeah? I did spot those. So they're cut lines. Right. Now, they're there because it makes it easier for you to fold and it adds automatic detail. Of on. course. So all I'm going to do is very quickly flick the edges. So I've got a dauber, a little bit of pigment ink, hold it in the air and flick down and then just pinch. But can you see, uh, they fold they automatically just also, yeah, just also on those cut right lines. Place. So suddenly, that becomes that. With no skill, you don't yeah. need lots Two of tools. Two completely different looks. They look lovely as they are. And could you pinch the other way as well if you wanted to, You Jen? can. Could you can pinch can them you? the other way up. So you can pinch it that way up. Oh. You can still do all the tricks that you would do with a ball tool on there. Yeah. It's just those cut lines add that little bit of extra detail. So to do the stamen, I'm just going to again take a little bit of ink and I'll be very quick. But this is how quick this is. So this is where you need reverse tweezers yeah. and glue glaze. OK. Can you imagine trying to pipe, even with our fine glue applicator, glue down there? Yeah. No. Use your glue glaze and it's completely flat. So it doesn't matter if you just blob it on. One handed. Take your reverse tweezers open them and grab one end. Yeah. See why I mean so, yeah, reverse? Yeah, so you're not having to squeeze, it's just I, holding it there. You don't have to do All anything now. All I now, now do is roll oh, no. those. 
Really? Yeah, look, look, roll it up. Roll oh that up. Oh my goodness. And so that... you're winding it like a, a mechanism there. Yeah, and that's done. done well, I didn't stuck. expect that. Yeah. <laughs> but can you <laughs> imagine amazing. with tweezers grabbing it and trying to yeah. turn while grabbing it? Yeah. No, you just literally put that on and just roll it up. Oh, I haven't glued this one. You so need it won't these. Stick. The fact that you've you got just... the tweezers and two glazes as well. Yeah. So then all I do is put the flour together and we just blob of the glue glaze in the middle because it's quick grab. Offset. Yeah. Push in the centre. You see, you've got that full flour. That is beautiful. Then it looks like I've spent hours. You've got doing the strength it. there as well because as soon as you start folding cardstock, you, it, it, it becomes a strength. It's as, yeah, it's as though you've thickened yeah, it. Yeah, it's up. like free for po it's posting. It won't get crushed anywhere yeah. near as much. Then your stamen goes in the middle. Now this grabs very quickly, but okay. normally I would leave it for a couple of minutes. Yeah. And all you do is roughly pull wow. those stamens down and there you go. Look at that. And it's completely flat on the back for gluing because nothing goes through, but you've got that stamen done. And for the smaller ones, you just add a pearl in the middle. Look, that is absolutely good. Cool. And it's nice to mix the small with the large with the two different centres there as well. Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, what a lovely launch show we've had here. I can tell you 60% of the full collection has gone in the first hour. You need to check those baskets out. If you want to make sure you've grabbed yours, please, please do not hesitate. If you know you want them, just get that out of the way. Make sure you can sit back there and enjoy the rest of the shows and the demonstrations. With the big uh, collection there, of course, you're getting the alphabets, you're getting the numbers, you're getting the Firth Park there as well. So that's the tags, you're getting the flowers, the, the little twigs as well. Oh, what more could you ask for? With all those savings as well. 229-941 is the item number. John, I know you're back at 8 o'clock with Alex. Yes. Uh, I'll be travelling home then, but I'll be thinking about you because I've got all sorts of ideas in my head now, <laughs> I can tell you. I've uh, got a feeling that that second one of mine that was, wasn't quite right, that fell off the counter, might mm, not make it home ooh, somehow. Ooh, ooh. Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll make do with a missing letter. Thank you for joining us. I'm up next with Leone. Happy Planner coming up. See you soon.